Today, printing list comprehensions in Python. We're gonna look at three different ways to effectively use print in Python and kinda of how print interacts with other operations in a list comprehension and how you can use print to kind of debug a list comprehension. And I wanted to start with this funny list comprehension that returns a list of nuns. So you may have tried this yourself at some point and thought, okay, what exactly is going on? And we're gonna explain that in this video as well. So let's start off with our example that's returning a list of nuns. And you might be asking, how does that even happen? Well, let me show you that if you wrap bool around print, um, when you print that out, it's going to return false. It's gonna print the hay, but it's going to ultimately return false. And that's the same as if you just wrap bool around none, that's gonna return false as well. So print doesn't really return anything, and when you have a function that doesn't return anything, it's the equivalent of returning none. And so that's what we're looking at here. Let me show you a couple functions that kind of do this same print within a list comprehension, and it'll help you make sense of it. So let's say we created a, a function uh, called print val, and we're going to take a val as an argument, and we're going to print the val, and just add a little text here so you understand what's going on. So we have our print val function, and we can come back to our list comprehension and use our new print val function. And you can see that it's the exact same as before. Um, it's printing the 0, 1, 2, 3, and then ultimately returning none. Now, what I wanna show you next is a new function. So how about we call this um, print return val. And so it's gonna be kind of the same. We're gonna take val as our argument. We're going to um, print val, but then we're also going to return the val. And so this line of return is gonna make a huge difference. You can see in print val, we just print it, nothing gets returned, um, but here we're returning stuff. So we'll come back to our list comprehension and we'll use our print return val function and look at that, our output is 0, 1, 2, 3 because we're actually returning something. So instead of having none, this return statement made all the difference. And again, of course, it's iterating exactly as before, but it's returning a list of 0, 1, 2, 3. So we're finally getting the return we need. So hopefully that kind of helps you make sense of why when you just use a normal uh, print function, you're getting none here because nothing's getting returned. So what I would recommend is if you do in a list comprehension, if you do want to track the progress, track the iterations of the list comprehension, or just use print, but actually you know return a list that's helpful, um, create a custom function um, that returns the value after printing things, after logging what you need to log, and this is a great solution for it. Now the second solution I wanna show you guys, um, going back to um, our original list comprehension, is let's just say, you know, I for I, zero, one, two, three, but you wanna print it out still. Um, so this is kind of a, an easy one or an obvious one, but just take the print outside of the list comprehension and just wrap print around it and return that. So we have our list getting returned and then we just print that out. Now, of course, um, these look the same in the Python shell, but if you were in VS Code and you're actually in a Python file, um, these two would behave differently in that, of course, print is gonna log something to the console or wherever you're, you're logging your print statements. So that's our second example is just use print to wrap it around things. Now our third one, and I think this is pretty cool, um, coming back to our print function, pay attention to this. So how about or I? And look at that. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to break this down for you guys. So this is getting the solution we want, zero, one, two, three. And you're probably asking, wait, but what is actually going on? So this print I 
like I showed you before from the Boolean, is going to evaluate falsy. Because again, if you were going to wrap a bool around that, this is going to be falsy. But it's still running the actual printing. Um, so it's doing the printing, but then ultimately evaluating falsy. So since it evaluates falsy, it goes into the or and we get our I. And so I think, I, don't, I haven't tried this one yet, but um, maybe first I'll show you if we throw some text in here uh, that that'll work. And you can see that the printing is happening um, because I'm telling it to, right? So hey zero, hey one, etc. And then we have our I. And just so you know that it's definitely um, getting to this I, maybe I'll just wrap it around a string so you can see that. So you can see now we're returning a list of strings, we're printing things out, and we're doing this all using the or statement. So this is kind of like a, a tricky one or one that you might, int might not intuitively think about, but this is honestly a great way to do it because you don't have to grab that custom function that we created and you can just do it raw, one-liner, don't need a function, much cleaner and shorter code. So I don't think most people even know about this or that you can use in a list comprehension. Um, so that is our third solution. So now that we've looked at our three solutions one by one, um, I just wanna do a little conclusion and show you guys them all side by side. So our first solution was creating a custom function. Uh, in this case, I created print return value and we run that and we get our zero, one, two, three and we've printed things along the way. Now, number two was wrapping a print statement um, around the outside, and this might not work for every use case, obviously, um, but you know that's a simple one, and hopefully the, that'll work for you guys too. And then number three is where we use the or statement. And honestly, I really like this or statement. I didn't know much about it until I did some research on this video, but I really like how clean it is. I really like how I don't have to create a function. And even outside of the print statement, I can see other use cases um, for using this or statement in a list comprehension and sort of evaluating truthy and falsy and creating some uh, conditional logic there. So again, three solutions for how to use print statements in a list comprehension effectively and basically avoid the situation that I posed to you at the very beginning where we're, we're returning all nuns. Um, so the quickest one, my favorite one is using or, and now you know how to print in a list comprehension in Python. Thanks for watching.